Hello there, my name's John. Um, a short tutorial just to show you how to download and install eRun um, so that you can back up and restore your registry. eRun is completely free and if set up properly is going to make you uh, an automatic backup every day of your registry every time that you turn on your computer. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to make this is the desktop, we're going to make a new folder on the desktop. I'm going to right click new folder and we are going to call this folder eRun. This is where we're going to download the files from the internet to here. So we're going to have that called eRun. That's fine. Now we're going to open up the browser and this is the place that we're going to go to. If you don't quite catch it you can always pause the video and have another look. I'm not going to read it all out to you, but it's there. And I've got this set up to download the file straight away. So we can see we've got eRun set up exe, and we're going to save it. Where are we going to save it to? We're going to save it to the folder that I've just put on the desktop, which is here. So there it is, eRun set up application and we will save. It's not going to take long to come down because it's a fairly small file. Okay, we're going to open the folder now which is on the desktop and we've got our e-run set up. So what we're going to do here is double left click on this and start setting it up. And we're going to go run. We're going to stick to English and it's welcome to the e-run setup wizard. And we're going to go to next. It's telling us it's going to install it in C program files, eRun. Next. In a folder called eRun. We go next. We're going to create a desktop icon for it. And we're also going to create a desktop icon for this thing, which is the NT registry optimization, optimization tool. Um, this is another useful thing. As I say, it's all free. We're going to click on next and we are going to install. Quite an important part. We're going to say yes to this. You can read through it yourselves. But if I click yes on this, it's going to give me a daily backup. Uh, every time I turn the computer on, it's going to back up the registry on that morning or whatever time I turn the computer on. So I'm going to click yes on that. I'm just going to unclick that for a moment because I don't want to show documentation. But I'm going to launch eRun now. So we're going to finish and we're going to close this folder down. And it's telling us that this program backs up the registry to a system folder of your choice. So this is going to be our very first registry backup. I'm going to click OK on there. And it's telling me it's going to be in C, Windows, in a folder called ERDNT, Erdnut and today's date which is St Patrick's Day. I'm going to click OK on this. Folder does not exist, create it. Yes please. And here we can see the registry being backed up. And it's telling us once again where it is. C Windows E-I-N-D-T. OK. Let's close the browser down now a moment. Now that's also uh, well and good, but we don't want to be leaping around all over the place uh, every time we want to find it. So let's go into my computer. We're going to open up C, which is usually the operating system. And documents and settings, program files, Windows. That's the folder I want. Windows. And there's the other folder I want there. That's where our backed up registry files are. As I say, we don't want to go through this every time, so what I'm going to do is put a shortcut on the desktop from here. So I'm going to right click on there and I'm going to do a send to desktop create shortcut, which hopefully it's done. And we come out of here now by closing it down and we're back on the desktop and there is our backed up files hopefully. Let's open it up. 
yes there we are 17th of the 3rd 2009 if I open it up that's our backed up registry there now let's close it down again a moment and just get these things in a little bit of order along here so we've got them all lined up so there are our uh, that's what we downloaded from the internet these are the two things that's the registration registry optimization tool we just uh, double left click on that and it's going to optimize the registry and that's our backed up files let's move that one up out of the way a moment right now supposing we were um, about to install Adobe Photoshop what well, what would be a good idea to do before that would be to make a registry backup before we install any software so if we click on there yes we would like to but then we can rename this now so I can rename it before Adobe Photoshop and click OK on there and we can create <coughs> excuse me a file before now the backup is complete OK let's have a look there it is and there's the backup there and all we would do in this case as I say every day when you turn the computer on tomorrow you'll see a folder in there for the 18th the 3rd the 19th so on and so forth for 30 days so it will back up and then it will clear itself but you're safe in the knowledge that your registry has been backed up every time that you turn the computer on every day and the way that you back the registry up uh, restore the registry rather is you just simply click on that double click on that there with this program you can restore a registry ok when it had finished you would reboot the computer and your registry is restored to the way that it was before I think that's all I can tell you about that at the moment my name's John thank you for watching and listening bye for now